we do want to help farmers. No one here should think for a moment that we shouldn't be concerned about bovine TB. We should. It's a significant problem economically for farmers. It's a significant problem for taxpayers as well. And unless we get control of it, we'll forever be in this debate about killing our wildlife. The food retailers have a role to play in this. For too long they've sat on the fence. The Waitrose, the Sainsbury's, the Tesco's. The 13 million cattle movements in this country are largely down to them. They've created a system of cheap production, which we've taken for granted. Don't get me wrong, it's important to our society we can afford food and we have variety and choice. But it has come at a cost, and they have responsibility. TB in wildlife is industrial pollution. It's no different from what's going up in the air or what's going into rivers, and those who are responsible have to clean it up. That means the government has a responsibility. It means the farmers have a responsibility, and it definitely means the food retailers have a responsibility too. Now, any one of those retailers have significant budgets where they could help us to develop a welfare scheme to support greater vaccination of badgers, and the most critical thing, to speed up the introduction of the vaccination of cattle. We know that we keep getting told there's a 10-year timetable before we can get this through. The only reason you have that 10-year timetable is because it's connected to exporting cows that we inject with a vaccine into Europe and beyond. And it means also that it could have an impact on processed meat and dairy products from those cattle if they're slaughtered before export. Now then, the way around that is for the retailers like Sainsbury's and Tesco's to say this. We will vaccinate cattle for TB, we will speed up the trials and get it to work, and we will put it only in the UK supply chain to our customers. It will be labelled as badger friendly and cattle friendly. It might command a bit more of a price, because we will be willing to pay a bit more in our stores for it. It might also deliver a bit more of a higher price for hard-pressed farmers on meat and dairy prices too. And I think what it will show the retailers is that they're committed, working with the Wildlife Trust, the Badger Trust, wildlife groups up and down this country, and you, who are ultimately their customers too, that they care about this and they want to make it work. If we can do that, and we can, we'll get on top of this disease. We won't be here in two or three years' time talking about gassing. Now tell me, Mr. Sainsbury's, Mr. Tesco's, Mr. Astor, will any of you sit comfortably if we start gassing badgers up and down this country? You will not because it really will come back to your doorstep. So you now need to get off the fence and help us find a solution. We can do this. The power of people, the power of caring, compassionate society is crucial. I think 2014 will be a very important year. I think it will be the year that the wildlife conservation movement came of age. It's the year that it became a very powerful political voice. It's a year when those people in Westminster or council chambers up and down this country could no longer ignore it. And it's a year, I think, when we won't see, I hope, in the future, these backroom deals being made by industry groups with no input from the public that would lead to the senseless, disgusting eradication of our wildlife. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much, Dominic.